it. They're on the starter's orders. And they're off. And running down towards the first. And Hill of Slain, one of the first to show in the centre. Gridar on the inside, chased by Corbier. Imperial Black is right up there with them, but it's Gridar on the near side, with also well up there, Drunken Duck in the centre of the course, right over the far side, running fast, is Midday Gun with also Burnt Oak, Burnt Oak on the far side, and on the near side, Gritar. Corbier's just in behind Gritar. they're racing down towards the first, Imperial Black in the centre, and we join John Hanmer. And Burnt Oak on the wide outside from Midday Gun, who's jumped it successfully this year. A bad mistake by Roman General, but I can't see a faller at the first as they jump the second. It's Burnt Oak from Golden Tricks, then Midnight Gun, then Bush Guide, then Earth Stopper, Two Swallows, Spartan Missile, then comes Ashley House, and I haven't seen a faller at the second either. And Burnt Oak and Golden Tricks, Golden Tricks the first to go. Golden Tricks has fallen, and a very bad mistake by Beach King but I can't see any other faller at the third fence as they jump the fourth. Burnt Oak out clear from Earthstopper, Spartan Missile, Two Swallows, and over to Julian Wilson. Yes, Burnt Oak is clear from Earthstopper, Two Swallows on the far side with Midday Gun, and uh, the ones on the far side are clear as they come to the fifth, and Burnt Oak jumps it clear from Earthstopper second, then Two Swallows, Midday Gun, and Ashley House is in a prominent position, and they're all over that one as they run down towards the Beaches Brook with Burnt Oak and Peter Scudamore in a clear lead. Burnt Oak comes to Beaches, 10 lengths clear, and flies over it. Earthstopper over in second, then Two Swallows, Midday Gun, then Spartan Missile, and uh, Midnight Love is a faller, Midnight Love is a faller, and Clon Turton's a faller, three to one is a faller, and Hazy Dawn is a faller. As they run down towards the canal turn now, having negotiated the seventh fence with no casualties, and Burnt Oak is still well clear from Grease Paint now disputing second with Earth Stoppers. Then is Two Swallow and Gritter on the inside as they jump the canal turn, and the lead is all over the canal turn, and Burnt Oak well clear. And uh, in second place, disputing it is uh, Grease Paint and Earth Stopper, then Gritter, then Two Swallows and Imperial Black and Yaman and Corbier, Spartan Missile and Tacroy as we rejoin John Hammer. And over the tenth, Burnt Oak is over well clear of Earth Stopper and Grease Paint a mistake, Gritter are a mistake, but he's all right. And as they go to the next open ditch, the eleventh fence, Burnt Oak still well clear of Earth Stopper, Two Swallows, Grease Paint, then Imperial Black just in behind them, Corbier's there and Gritar as well there and Silent Valley. And as they go to the 12th, it's Burnt Oak, still clear. Doesn't jump that very well. Our stopper is second, then Grease Paint, Spartan Missile, Two Swallows, Tacroy, then Gritar, Imperial Black, Corbier, Silent Valley, Canfor Ginger, your man, Ashley House, then Broomy Bank, Midday Gun, and then Eliogarty and Lucky Vane and then comes points past, but as they head towards the 13th fence, over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, and it's Burnt Oak, still a long way clear. A long way clear of Earth Stopper and Grease Paint, then the Grey Two Swallows on the inside, then comes Spot Missile, then Tacroy. Behind Tacroy is Gritar, then comes Silent Valley, and then comes last year's winner, Corbier, just in behind the leaders with your man chasing him. Coming down now towards the next fence, and it's Burnt Oak, still a long way clear of Earth Stopper and Grease Paint and Spot Missile and Tacroy and Two Swallows and Gritar, who's on the inside. There be, he's being followed by Corbier. Coming down now towards the fence, that'll be the last on the next circuit, and Burnt Oak still with a commanding advantage from Earthstopper, Grease Paint, Two Swallows, Imperial Black not far behind the leaders on the inside is Gridar being chased by Corbier. Now they're coming to the chair, one of the most daunting in the race. This is fence number 15, the chair, and it's still Burnt Oak clear of Grease Paint in second, Earthstopper is third, then Gridar on the far side and Two Swallows. Burnt Oak lands well in the lead, from in second place, and a faller there, and uh, another another captain has gone there, and also another faller there, 
It's um, the, the Irish horse, is Carl's Wager has gone there, and there was Blunt Oak who cleared the water in the lead. From in second place, Earth Stopper. Then comes in third place, Grease Paint, four, Tackroy. Five on the inside is Gritter. Six on the outside comes Spartan Missile. Then Corbier and two swallows. Behind them, Iliogati. Behind Iliogati is Brummy Bank. On the outside of Brummy Bank is Imperial Black. Behind Imperial Black is Lucky Vane. Then Canford Ginger. Then your man. Behind your man. And uh, joining him now on the far side is Silent Valley with also up there Ashley House. And they're racing across the Melling Road now. With going up in the center of the course, Earth Stopper. On the inside, Gritar. On the outside is Grease Paint and over to John Hanmer. And Burnt Oak still there on the wide outside too. And Earth Stopper's up with him. So it's Grease Paint and Tack Roy and Points Pass and Spartan Missile. Then Lucky Vane and Corbier tracking the leaders towards the inner over the 18th. Earth Stopper, Grease Paint, Burnt Oak, Tack Roy. Then Eliogati. Then Two Swallows and Gritar and Lucky Vane as they come to the big ditch. And Grease Paint just about takes the lead, but Earth Stopper jumps it better. And a faller at that one was Kumbai. And another faller would be Fortune Seeker as they jump the next, and it's Earth Stopper in the lead. Then Spartan Missile, Gritar, close up as we join Julian Wilson. Yes, Grease Paint in the center of the course. Earth Stopper under the stand rails with Gritar. Two swallows towards the centre as they jump the next one. And Elia Gart is right up with them on the far side as well. Lucky Vane made a slight mistake at that one, but they were all over it. And running down to Beaches for the second time. Now the leaders are very closely bunched. With two swallows, Elia Gart towards the outside. Grease paint towards the inside as they jump Beaches. Elia Gart over. Grease paint makes a mistake. Earth stops over in second. Then two swallows. Hello Dandy. Gritar's well there on the inside. Imperial Black was the faller at Beaches as they jumped the 23rd fence with Earth Stopper in the lead from Grease Paint and Eliagati. Behind that comes Gritar and Two Swallows, then Corbier, then Hello Dandy, then Broomy Bank and Lucky Vane and Fettered Friend as they come to the canal turn where Valerie Order and Bush Guide fell the first time round. But this time it's Grease Paint and Earth Stopper. Eliagati is third, Gritar is fourth, then the great Two Swallows. Behind those is Hello Dandy, then Corbier and Lucky Vane, then Broomy Bank and Fettered Friend as they jump Valentine's. Grease paint over, a length clear from Earth Stopper in second. Elliot Gardy weakening now. Hello Dandy goes into third. In fifth is Grease Pe is Gritar. Sixth is Corbier, then two swallows and Lucky Vane as we rejoin John Hammer. And a mistake there by Earth Stopper who was in second place and it's Grease Paint out in front. Then Hello Dandy, Eliogarty and Earth Stopper and Lucky Vane and Two Swallows, last ditch, four from home, and Hello Dandy's gone right up to Grease Paint. Then in third place, Earth Stopper, four Eliogarty, five Lucky Vane, six Two Swallows, seven Corbier. As they go to the third last, and it's Grease Paint from Hello Dandy. Then in third place, Earth Stopper, four Eliogarty, five is Two Swallows. Silent Valley's been pulled up. Your man's well behind, but as they go across the Melling Road, it's Hello Dandy going up to join Grease Paint, then Earth Stop the third, Lucky Vane four, and over to Peter Ray Sullivan. And it's still Grease Paint, last year's second in the lead from Hello Dandy, last year's fourth. Then comes Earth Topper with quite a long gap behind him is Lucky Vane. Behind Lucky Vane is last year's winner, Corbier, making good progress. Eliogat is just behind him, and then the Grey Two Swallows, and then comes Fethard Friend, and then behind him is Gritar. As they come down to the second last fence in the National, it's Hello Dandy on the far side as we see them. On the near side is Grease Paint. There's little between the two, Grease Paint and the Sheepskin Nose Band. Hello Dandy lands in the lead, though. Earth Stopper is third, and it's Hello Dandy in the lead as they come to the final fence in the 1984 National from Grease Paint. Earth Stopper is third. Corbier is now fourth. Then comes Lucky Vane over the last fence. Hello Dandy lands in the lead from Grease Paint. Behind them come Earth Stopper and then Corbier and then comes Lucky Vane racing towards the elbow now with just over a furlong to run in the National and it's Hello Dandy being challenged again by Grease Paint. Hello Dandy is wandering off a true line. Grease Paint sticking to the far rail as they come to the furlong pole. It's Grease Paint on the far side. Hello Dandy on the near side. Corbier is trying to get on terms with them. But it's Grease Paint on the far side. Hello Dandy on the near side. There's nothing between them as they come to the line. Hello Dandy on the near side is just going to put it. Hello Dandy is one and Grease Paint is second and third is Corbier. Fourth Lucky Vane and five Earth Stopper. That's the one, two, three, four, five. Then came. 
second Grand National success for trainer Gordon Richards, Welshman Neil Doughty aboard Hello Dandy, the 1983 fourth goes three better in 1984 to win at 13 to one. Grease Paint, second at nine to one, the favorite, different trainer, different owner, different jockey, but same result, Corbiere under 12 stone, third at 16 to one, with Toby Balding's Lucky Vane finishing fourth at 12 to one. So Hello Dandy appreciated the better ground and despite wandering in the closing stages, giving hope to the second place horse Grease Paint, managed to